monkeypox, it's here. Everyone's talking about it. So in this video, I'll explain everything that you need to know about this virus. We'll go through some history of the virus, we'll go through some images, and we'll also talk about how monkeypox presents itself, meaning signs and symptoms. Of course, we'll also go through some WHO and CDC data, and also some data out of the UK about this. The last part of this video will explain why monkeypox shouldn't be causing anxiety right now. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Oh, also I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to more content. Just click the join button above. Anyways, let's get into this. So let me pull up the WHO website that explains monkeypox so we can have a baseline understanding of what we're dealing with here. This will be a little orientation, right? One second, hold on. So as you can see here under the title, Epidemiology of the Disease. So let me highlight this important area. Okay, one second. Okay, monkeypox belongs to the orthopox genus of the Poxviridae family. It's a double-stranded DNA virus versus RNA virus like SARS-CoV-2. Um, others from the the orthopox family are smallpox and cowpox, etc. And yes, the names imply the zoonotic categories of animals affected. Now, let me highlight this area here. Hold on one sec. As you can see, the name monkeypox, quote, originates from the initial discovery of the virus in monkeys in a Danish laboratory in 1958, end quote. Then the first human case was found in 1970 in Congo. Now, let me scroll down a little further to go over how monkeypox is transmitted as well as signs and symptoms to look out for. Hold on one sec. Now let me highlight this. Okay, now as you can see, transmission occurs from people who are in close contact with the affected individual. So transmission of body fluids and of course the fluid from monkeypox lesions are the primary vectors or I should say ways the virus spreads. Also it spreads through large respiratory droplets which are much larger than what SARS-CoV-2 dealt us by the way. That actually makes monkeypox much less transmissible. Now moving on the virus can incubate for 5 to 21 days after it's come in contact with somebody or its host. That just means the monkeypox virus doesn't produce symptoms for at least 5 to 21 days after that initial exposure. Now that said let me open this next website from CDC and I'll highlight this interesting point here. Hold on one sec. Now, as you can see, the CDC claims currently monkeypox has a high proclivity to affect gay men. I think yet again, the CDC has failed to provide accurate information. I feel this has less to do with sexual orientation and more to do with the fact that intercourse puts you in close proximity and contact with an affected individual, which is the largest risk factor for contracting the monkeypox virus, aside from your age. So this also affects very young kids, um, very old people and immunocompromised people. Anyways, let me pull up my Substack post on this to show you some images of what this looks like. Hold on one second. Now, look here. This is how the virus presents in monkeys. You can see um, large lesions on the face here. Now, let me scroll down to another image. Give me one second. Hold on. So now, in humans, lesions can pop up in many places. Here in these pictures, we see them on the hands. And moving on, on the right is an image of progression. So the lesions form, then crust over and leave scabs, as you can see on the right here. Now, initial symptomology does not begin with these lesions. Instead, a fever, a sore throat, fatigue usually happens first, and then a facial rash occurs. Only after that, within days, the lesions typically appear all over the body. Another important point about monkeypox is that it induces swollen lymph nodes. In other words, lymph nodes near affected areas can and likely will be swollen. Now, this doesn't necessarily happen with smallpox, so there's that distinguishing factor right there. Now, I'm going to put up a chart on the screen screen real quick. Hold on one second. So according to the most recent WHO data, there are only 92 confirmed cases and 28 suspected cases of monkeypox. The problem is, as you can see from this chart, currently monkeypox is being seen in areas it historically has never been seen in. So health authorities are raising the alarm about this currently. I don't feel it's necessary yet, but that's just me. Finally, there is a vaccine for this, but I highly doubt after everything that transpired with COVID-19, people will be as likely to indulge. Um, however, we'll see, right?
So what does all this mean? How should you feel about this? Well, monkeypox historically is very self-limiting. It's very difficult to transmit. So the likelihood of the masses becoming infected with this is very low, although it could happen, but really we're not there yet. And it's so unlikely. Even if someone did contract monkeypox, nearly all people recover within a few weeks. And the case fatality rate from this is so low. For example, some data suggests a CFR, a case fatality rate of 3%. The news keeps saying, however, it's as high as 10 or 15%. However, the data suggests the strain that would cause a 10 or 15% CFR or case fatality rate is not frequently being identified right now. So I wouldn't put too much stock in what the legacy media is saying. Also, keep in mind, monkeypox predominantly affects children, elderly, and again, immunocompromised. So with that said, it is not time to panic yet. Also, I'm going to say this flat out. There is no evidence to show masking or lockdowns are effective for altering the trajectory of this virus. However, they did a lockdown and quarantine in an area of Belgium the other day because health authorities felt 20 cases were linked to a super spreader gay pride event. Their words, not mine. I'll leave a link for that in the description. So to come full circle here, we don't have much information on this monkeypox virus. And there is absolutely no reason to panic right now. Anyways, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything you'd like to learn about in the future, please leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one.